So today I played chess after a few days gap uh, and I was feeling more than a bit rusty. I lost a couple of games to begin with and this one was the third game that I played today. Now I was here playing as black uh, and my opponent starts with d4. I respond with c6 trying to go for the Karukan defense kind of setup. Opponent goes c4 now. I of course played d5. Opponent takes here. I take back. So the c file is opened up early in the game. Uh, and it should be a good contest from here on. Uh, my open plays the knight to c3. Uh, and I respond with knight to f6, de uh, defending the pawn. Uh, here opponent goes for f3, which generally leads to e4 next. Uh, I played e6 here, uh, trying to be more solid, uh, closing my own bishop's diagonal as well. Maybe with ideas of uh, putting it on uh, to b7 or maybe even to uh, d7 and then to c6. Open goes for e4. I take on the pawn here. Open takes back. And now I know uh, for a fact that this queen is going to come out or the bishop uh, giving a check. And if I defend with one of them then of the knight and then the opponent will definitely put the queen as well. So I thought, okay, let me block. Uh, I try to first of all pin this knight. Uh, which means that the knight will not be active, only pursuing for the attack. Uh, so here my opponent plays queen to d3. Uh, I take on the knight. Opponent takes back with the pawn, uh, making sure uh, that the, there are connected pawns in the center, which is always nice. I went with now queen to a5, uh, blocking this queen move again, which could have been nasty. Uh, and now opponent plays e5, which gives my knight the move uh, to d5, which also attacks the pawn on c3. So uh, one small advice is never push your pawns too much in the opening uh, because yes, you have taken the control of the dark squares, uh, but you have given me the control of light square as well. So uh, and a good square for the knight to be uh, placed. So I'm happy with this. Open goes now bishop to d2, which always means that the pawn is going to move next for sure. A discover attack on the queen and the knight would fall. Uh, so I moved away the queen uh, to a3, which means if the opponent now pushes the pawn, I will first of all exchange queens and then I can move my knight. So opponent goes with knight to f3, uh, which uh, is a development move. Opponent is planning to put the bishop out and castle on the king's side. Now I go with a6 first. My idea is to make sure that there is no checks coming at all. Open plays bishop to e2. Uh, I place my knight on to c6. And now open castles and I got my queen back now because I am expecting a rook lift coming otherwise and uh, maybe the other rook can also come. So a rook lift will be there which will push my queen backwards anyway. So I moved my queen. Now open plays knight to g5. A knight to g5 with the open file is very instructive. Uh, it's very, uh, it can be black, bad for black as well. This rook is going to head down on to f7. Now, there are lots of problems here. A, my queen is kind of in the radar if the rook takes the pawn. Of course, the pawn is weak. If I defend with the rook, uh, then my uh, h7 falls with the knight. If I castle, then it's a checkmate in one. So I cannot castle. So very little scope of saving this pawn. Uh, my knight, no knight can come into the action and defend this pawn. Uh, this one maybe can come back. Uh, but I, do I want it to be back is another question. Uh, so it was kind of tricky. I thought then, okay, let me play the pawn forward myself. F6. Now the opponent takes the pawn and I take back with the knight. And here I am pretty okay because there's no threats coming now. Uh, and opponent now plays a rook to e1. Now, if you're finding this game instructive and interesting till now, please do subscribe to the channel as well. Uh, and that helps me a lot. So, okay. Here I play bishop to d7 because I want to cast on the queen side now because king side looks very risky with all the pieces lining up over there. If you see the bishop is kind of in the right direction as well. So I thought, okay, here opponent plays bishop to f4, but I still castled. Now opponent shifts the rook onto b1, but it's not threatening as of now. Uh, unless there's a good sacrifice, which opponent can always think of which is queen takes the pawn because if queen takes the pawn uh, suddenly if you see uh, if if i take back that's bad because it it can lead to a checkmate as well
provided the knight is not there to defend it. So there can be some ideas of pushing pawn, removing the knight from here, and then going for the checkmate. I went with uh, knight to d5 first so that I can attack the bishop straight away. I don't want this bishop to be here. Uh, and so opponent goes back with the bishop, uh, which allows me now to kick this knight. But here comes a fork, uh, which I should have seen that before and could have just got one of the rooks into the center and trade off. But instead, since I played h6, I was low on time as well. So here opponent comes in with the knight to f7. I attack the knight, opponent takes the rook, and I take the rook first, hoping that opponent might take with the rook, which is helpful for me. The attack on the queen side will be handled that way. But opponent took, takes with the bishop, interesting choice, and a good one as well. I take the knight uh, with my knight, so that this knight will always defend the b7 as well, just in case. So that's a good move, uh, maneuvering my knight to a better square. Open plays c4, kicking my knight away. So knight comes back to f6. And now bishop to e2, preparing to maybe go to f3, which will i the b7. I went with queen to d6 first. Uh, open plays bishop to f3. And now I play bishop to c6, asking for a bishop trade. But open plays here a pawn to c5, which means I just have to move my queen and the structure is solid. I place my queen on d7. Uh, open plays a bishop to f4. Again, uh, there is the threat. Uh, if now the opponent takes and I take, that would be checkmate because rook will be defended and that's the plan. Uh, I took the bishop first. I, I saw that later, to be honest. Opponent takes back. Uh, opponent, of course, didn't think of sacking. Now I go with knight to uh, d5, attacking the bishop. Bishop now comes to e5. And now I place my other knight onto c6. So how I rotated my knights was interesting. Uh, my knight is now attacking the bishop as well. Uh, and I'm in control of the situation for now. Open plays queen to e4. And now I go with a fork. Here comes the final fork, which is always happy to see. Uh, and now I will be exchanged back up uh, like I was down earlier. So exchange is sat sorted now. And now it's time to get back into the game with an advantage. Also, here is knight takes on d4, grabbing the extra pawn. I have a better pawn structure. If you see now, opponent has isolated pawns, uh, which are not connected. And I have got connected pawns, plus the centralized pawn as well, which can always be pushed a lot further. So I took on the pawn first, uh, open place king up. Uh, otherwise, again, I can take another pawn and it's a fork. So opponent had to move the king there. I, or take the knight, uh, and I come back with with knight to c6, attacking the bishop again. Uh, bishop cannot take the pawn because queen defends, just in case if you're wondering. Uh, now bishop comes to d6, and now I move my knight to e7, and my idea is to go to f5 and then attack the bishop. Queen comes to e4, attacking a pawn maybe, that's it, nothing much. I go up, uh, queen comes down to e5, but I take the bishop anyway, open takes back with the pawn. And now only we have to find out is how do I trade off queens? Open, I first sidestep with the king uh, to b8 so that there's no checkmate attack. Just in case my queen isn't around, uh, a checkmate can still happen on to c7 if my king is on c8. So I just move my king. And then I just sidestep with the king again, trying to maneuver it. Then I thought, okay, another check comes in, so I have to come back. b8 is the only square for my king. Open starts pushing f4. Uh, I went with g6. Open pushes the king. I play pawn forward h5, king to e3, h4. We just keep moving our pieces. I make sure that my pawn is too much advanced so that later on I can take a pawn and just win it from there. Uh, queen, then king to e5 comes in. I try to position my queen on, onto a better square. Uh, and here open plays queen, uh, king to e4, which is ha I'm more than happy to trade off queens now. And of course, I can stop this pawn by moving out my king. And I have a pawn majority here on the king side, so I can definitely queen side and I can win it from there. Uh, but here my open blunders moves the king instead, thinking the queen is defended, which was not. And I take the queen and open resigns. So yeah, a kind of sad ending to a good game, I can say. Uh, but at least the game was pretty good and instructive. There's one one more spot here where I thought I could, could have traded the queens, which was this moment. If I now play queen to c6, it's a forced queen trade 
my pawn will be better my king is closer to the pawn and i definitely win this easy end game from there as well so uh initially my position didn't look good it wasn't good to be honest uh and i came back into the game uh and it's good it's good to play just after some time and getting back to the groove i hope you enjoyed this video do let me know your feedback keep watching and sharing please do subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't already by now and i shall see you tomorrow with some interesting and instructive content like always thanks for your time take care bye bye